This video will walk through the process of setting gains for Topcom machine control. This example is done using the motor grader system. This graph shows how gains affect hydraulic performance. Gains act as a multiplier to valve offsets. The higher the gain, the higher the valve output as grade error increases. In the graph shown, as grade error increases, the gains will multiply the valve offset value. With a 3 tenths error and gain set to 100, the valve offset response is increased from 250 to nearly 750. As the error decreases, the valve offset response lowers until it reaches the base number of 250. When setting gains, we want the system to adjust to grade quickly, but not overshoot grade. Gains set too high will result in choppy grades or washboarding. Gains that are set too low will result in a blade that reacts too slow and creates long or sweeping waves. To show gains in action, we've positioned the blade so that it needs to raise a quarter of a foot to reach grade. For this example, the raise and lower gains are both set to 1. You can see that the movement speed of the blade pretty much matches the blade speed of the valve offsets. Next, the gains are both set to 100. You can see that the blade moves much faster than it did before, but we can still get better performance out of this system. Now, the gains are both set to 200. You can see the blade raise quickly, but overshoots grade before correcting back down to grade. This is set too fast. In this final example, the lower gain has been set to 151. The blade quickly reacts and holds grade. This is the ideal setting for a gain value. You may also notice the lower gain is different from the raise. Typically, raise gains have a higher number than lower gains. The final true test of these gains is the performance in the dirt. Many times, gains will need to be slightly tweaked in the field to get the best performance from the system.